I am Richard Horvitz, the voice of Invader Zim, and you are watching Criticologos. God, God, oh, Roger, that was terrible, terrible. Mira, is the squid word? Didn't you take acting classes? Eh? Come on, do it Curse again. you, squid word. Take it again. Hola, me llamo Ricardo Horvitz, the voice of Invader Zim. Sabes de Invader Zim? Eh? You are watching Critical Logos. <laughs> Alpha, what happened? Where's Zordon? Zordon? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know any Zordon. Alpha, How did you get in here? What's anyways? wrong with you? Hey, you're supposed to be uh, supposed to be stuck in the. Here, let me help you. I don't need your help. Glumshanks, what are you doing here? Eh, hey, say, Glumshanks, you look different somehow. I don't know. Less evil. Believe me, Nandy. The clowns are nothing but ultimate evil. They want to be the dominant species on the planet. Nothing but evil. The clowns are nothing but ultimate evil. They want to be the dominant species on the planet. Nothing but evil. The clowns are nothing but ultimate evil. They want to be the dominant species on the planet. Nothing but evil. The clowns are nothing but ultimate evil. Richard, Richard, Richard Horowitz. Horowitz. Hor Richard Horowitz. Sorry, Richard Horowitz. Welcome to the Ticologos. Mucho gusto. Hola, Puerto Rico. <laughs> in Spanish, that's good. <laughs> sí. uh, somebody studying or in yes. here. Alpha Five, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Angry Beavers. Like I said, so many voices. How do you put this into words? How do you prepare yourself when each project comes about? Well, I uh, I look at each character and I think about what the wants are of each of those characters and then I break down the story and then I put a voice to it and I look at what the character looks like and try to sound you know like when you used to have uh, stuffed animals and play as a child that's what I like to do play as a child and speaking of children have you met Roger Bumpus the <laughs> voice <of him>? <laughs> <laughs> he is a child this is the fake Squidward <laughs> They're being, I'm keeping all those pens. They're being, they're, 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 they're being having fun. It's your it's your it's your one here in here. Yeah. Right, right, coming this way. Look, look, he's, <laughs> he's making a flock. He's making a flock. I, um, I always ask Roger to sign my favorite character. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard. <laughs> yes. uh, between so many projects, so many voices, um, which one do you think is the most fun, or, or the one you, you, you enjoy the most? It's it's hard to choose which characters my favorite because so much of me goes into them. Uh, I, I know that Daggett from the Angry Beavers is is much like my own personality. Um, Alpha Five was just kind of a robot so that wasn't as much but Zim is a lot of fun and Billy is a lot of fun. Those They're all very fun. Yeah. You, you're a part of so many of you, you're so many fandoms. You know, you're a part of so many your voices are part of so many uh, you have so many fans because yeah. there are so many shows. Gracias. How, 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 how do you cope with all of it? How, how fun is it has to be? It's a lot of fun. They, they've all been kind, especially here in Puerto Rico. It's so nice, very generous and kind and welcoming. It's such a warm place. It's been wonderful being here. And so I'm very fortunate that I have very kind fans. I want to ha I want to see I want to talk a little bit about the Power Rangers and I want to have your take on the Alpha on the Power Rangers because uh -huh. the whole internet went crazy when that when that yes. figure came out. Yes. What was your thought about it? I think it was silly. I think there was no reason to not have the original voices because their voices, they you know, you can change the character designs all you want, but I think that you know, it's like when you go to see your favorite uh, singer perform and they don't sing the song the way you know it mm -hmm. or they change the they change the uh, arrangement. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, I want to hear it the way I loved it. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt about that. Although Bill Hader, I understand, did a wonderful job, and uh, I know they were going for like a darker version of the Power Rangers, but in all honesty, uh, the campiness is part of the lore mm -hmm. of the Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hashbro brought Hashbro brought, brought, brought uh, the, yes. the access to the Power to the Power Rangers. How 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 much how do you think that that thing is going to change? How much is going to change? I don't know because. There's been so many incarnations of the Power Rangers over the last almost 30 years, 25 years or so. And so um, I think that as long as you have kids that like to play superheroes and fight with karate and uh, all sorts of things and monsters and aliens, I think you got a winning combination. Yeah, correct. Uh, besides all your many projects or other projects you got pending. 
Yes. Yes, well, um, I've got Psychonauts 2, the video game, is coming out. Perfect. Uh, and also coming out, I, I believe, next year is in uh, is the Invader Zim movie, Enter the Florpus. That comes out next year, I believe. Um, and then uh, I'm doing a show called Kid Danger on Nickelodeon, Elena of Avalor on Disney, uh, Tangled on Disney, um, uh, lots of video games, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, lots of stuff. I, I said it. The, world, <laughs> the, the, the bestest guy in this, in this place right now. Richard, thank you for everything. Thank you for Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, mucho gusto. Y seguimos aquí en Criticólogos.